Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the term lie. Introduction. The lie genre emerged in medieval France, encompassing a diverse range of poems. While some lies took a lyrical form, the majority were short narratives written in octosyllabic couplets. One of the notable poets associated with this genre is Marie de France, who wrote in French language likely at the court of king henry ii in england her lies known as breton lies drew inspiration from arthurian and celtic legends the term breton refers to brittany a celtic region of france indicating the origin of these narratives mary de france's narratives explored themes of chivalry love and magic captivating readers with their enchanting tales Celtic legends in Breton lies. Mary de France's Breton lies featured narratives based on Celtic legends, adding a touch of mystique and otherworldliness to the genre. These narratives often revolved around the adventures of knights, damsels in distress, and magical beings. The infusion of Celtic elements offered a unique perspective, distinguishing Breton lies from other medieval literary genres the blend of celtic mythology with courtly romance created a rich tapestry of themes and motifs that captured the imaginations of readers across medieval europe breton lies in english literature in the 14th century the term breton lay extended beyond its french origins and found its way into english literature English poets began writing poems modeled after the narratives of Mary de France. Some notable examples of Breton lays in English include Sir Orfeo, The Lay of Lawn Fall, and Geoffrey Chaucer's The Franklin's Tale. These English adaptations retained the essence of the original genre while infusing elements of English culture and language. The Evolution of Lies Over time the term lay evolved in English poetry to encompass broader meanings. It became synonymous with the word song and also served as an archaic term for fairly short narrative poems. Notable examples of this evolution include Sir Walter Scott's Lay of the Last Minstrel published in 1805. This transformation showcased the enduring influence of lies on english literature as poets continue to draw inspiration from the medieval genre conclusion in conclusion lies played a significant role in medieval french and english literature originating as a variety of poems in medieval france lies evolved from short narratives to lyric and narrative poems inspired by celtic legends Marie de France's Breton lies in particular left a lasting impact on English literature influencing poets like Chaucer and sparking a continued fascination with the genre the evolution of lies as songs and narrative poems demonstrates the enduring legacy of this medieval literary form so this was the discussion on the term lie we will meet in the next video and discuss some other term Until then goodbye and thank you hello everyone welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory if you want to study the notes and mcqs related to this term you can click the link given in the description we are also going to start our online and offline classes for ugc net for english literature very soon so stay connected with us